is extremely important here at Abbotsley as one of the things we want to do is empower our girls to embrace the world with competence and confidence and so technology is a big part of that. Um, so we have a pretty comprehensive um, IT access program and we uh, facilitate the use of IT in teaching and learning um, throughout the school from K to 12. And a big part of that is our video conferencing. We do virtual excursions, which are the easiest one to facilitate because there's a growing amount of content for virtual excursions out there. So, um, for example, we've taken our geography students in year 10 to the Great Barrier Reef where they've gone on a video conference that um, is led by a diver there and he goes underwater. That's been a pretty fantastic one from um, an Australian content provider. Um, taken our girls in year six studying Antarctica to Scott Base where we've talked to some of the scientists there. We um, have done that a number of times. That's pretty amazing. Um, um, our, our year um, seven science girls talked to some um, researchers at the Roslyn Institute in Scotland earlier in the year about genetics and veterinary science. Um, we've uh, got an ongoing mentoring program where we've got a virtual composer in residence for our year 11 and 12 music girls. So he has done group sessions with them about the um, how, how to compose, but he's also um, actually worked one-on-one -on -one with them where they've sent PDF their piece, he plays it and discusses with them what they're doing and why they're doing it. Every two weeks we would have a lesson and we would send over a couple of days before our lesson what we had achieved during that time and so he would be, have time to look over what we'd done um, give us really personalised suggestions so that when we had our one-on-one -on -one meetings with him he was really able to identify places that we could improve and things that we should change and things like that. And um, what we would do is we would sit in front of him and he would be on the computer screen in front of us with our compositions that we'd sent over and we were able to just have really one-on-one -on -one informal chats and just brainstorm ideas of how we could benefit our compositions and our skills and just how we can really um, enhance them and just do the best that we can. There's lots of other examples. Our PE girls have spoken to um, some scientists in Queensland um, about nutrition and they were able to ask questions that they, they maybe didn't have access to the information in class. Um, we've also looked at um, some collaborations with by video conferencing. So uh, uh, we've had uh, language and cultural exchanges for our Mandarin girls with um, students in Hong Kong. Um, and we've also had, um, with, for our French students, we've done language um, collaborations where they met numerous times with girls and practiced their writing and speaking skills. It's making real global connections. It's linking them to the real world. Um, even like we did a couple last week with some math students who um, connected with um, Questacon and also with um, a, um, sort of a similar sort of venue in, um, in Dallas, Texas where they did maths problems and challenges and that sort of linking to the real world makes it, um, makes them feel, you know, that gives a lot more relevance to the study that they're doing in class. Teachers um, are working hard to get through the curriculum so anything that you do has to be really relevant to the curriculum and support the curriculum, um, which isn't hard but it, it, that's that you have to approach it from the next